Of course, you can group first and then match. But in this case, in the match stage, you need to refer to the fields that are contained in the documents passed from the group stage. And remember that all those fields start with the underscore ID. Let's look at this example. We group first by H and I color, and then we can match either by underscore ID dot H or underscore ID dot I color. And here we match by H that is greater than 30. And as a result of this aggregate operation, we will get documents with one underscore ID field that has document as a value with H and I color. But of course, more resource effective is to match first and then group. Because in this example, we group entire collection and then filter results. Same results you will get if you will match first by H, not by underscore ID dot H, by H, and then group. Okay, let's look at this example in action. Let's leave just one aggregate tab. I will close another one. So I will leave tab where first stage is group and next one is match. I will comment first second stage and run just group. Here I will get documents with underscore ID and with nested documents with eye color and age. And now I can filter those resulting documents either by underscore id dot i color or underscore id dot h. I cannot use other fields because I have just those two fields here, i color and h. Okay, let's adjust stage two and match by underscore id dot i color. Because of dot notation, I need to use double quotes here and then comes underscore id dot i color. And here let's match by blue i color. And let's execute this, command enter. Now I got filtered results where I color is blue everywhere. Here it is. So let's summarize. I get all documents in the person's collection, then group them by I color and age. I get set of documents with all possible I color and age pairs, and then filter those pairs by I color blue. And of course, I use underscore id dot i color as a field reference. Here it is, underscore id dot i color. And of course, if you will swap match and group stages, and instead of underscore id dot i color here, you will use simply i color, results will be same. Okay, let's go on and move to the next stage called count. This count stage allows you to count number of the documents returned from the aggregation results. See you shortly.